Hello, this is Andrew from Crocoblock. Welcome to a tutorial on admin filters for custom post types provided by the Jet Engine plugin. In this video, I'll demonstrate how to efficiently organize and filter your content within the backend admin dashboard. These techniques will significantly enhance the management of custom post types, allowing for easy creation of custom listings and new filters on the front end. Before we start, I'd like to remind you to support our team by liking and commenting on our videos and subscribing to the Crocoblock YouTube channel. Assuming you've already created a custom post type and added some posts to it, the admin dashboard of the CPT by default displays a list of the posts and some related data. This data includes the post title, any comments on the post if they exist, and the date of their publication or last modification. There are already several filters available, a search filter for searching posts by title, a drop-down select filter for sorting posts by month, and switchers between all, private, draft and published posts. With the Jet Engine plugin, we can filter the CPT list by glossaries, meta field values and taxonomies. To create a new filter, head to the Jet Engine post types list and click the custom post type to edit it. Here you will find six setting sections, and the one we need for creating filters is the last. This section contains the list of any previously created filters and the add new button, hit the button. Initially, you'll see one text field for inputting the filter's name, a toggle to use this name as a placeholder for the filter options, and a drop-down menu to choose the data source for filtering the posts. First. I want to create a filter based on the custom taxonomy assigned to the specific custom post type and I will briefly introduce you to this notion. In WordPress, a taxonomy is used to group posts into different categories and tags. To create a taxonomy and tags for your post, you need to navigate to Jet Engine, go to Taxonomies, click Add New, assign it a name and select the post type to which you want to associate it. Now you will notice a newly created taxonomy when you hover your mouse cursor over the label of the custom post type on the dashboard. Once you click on it, you'll be able to create new tags. You simply need to come up with a name and click the Add New button. There are a few ways to assign a tag to a post. You can click on the title of the custom post type and on the right hand side you will see an add new tag field under the name of newly assigned taxonomy. Here you can enter one or more tags and then click the update button. You can also hover over the CPT title, click the quick edit option, enter the tags into the fields on the right hand side and then click update. An even quicker method is selecting multiple CPTs and editing them in bulk, which allows you to add tags to multiple post types simultaneously. Let's return to the admin filter editing window. Create a name for the filter and select to use it as the placeholder. In the type field, choose the filter by taxonomy option. Now specific fields for creating taxonomy-based filters will appear. First, select the taxonomy for the filter. If you enable the show counts toggle, you will see post count numbers next to each filter option. The final two fields allow you to set how the filtering options, which are the same as taxonomy tags, are ordered, either by the value of one of the fields or by the number of posts associated with the tag, and either in descending or ascending order. Let's click the Update Post Type button and head to the CPT list to see the filter in action. The new filter title is in the placeholder position and each option in the drop-down menu displays the number of posts with the relevant tag. To filter the results, select the needed option and click the Filter button. To return to all posts, choose the placeholder option and click Filter again. If we didn't enable using the filter name as a placeholder, we would be able to return to all posts by clicking the default all filter in the top left corner. Remember, 
If there are currently no posts with tags associated with the particular taxonomy, the filter for this taxonomy will not be displayed in the admin dashboard. For building a filter based on the post meta field, I'll first create a new meta field. In the meta field section on the edit post type page, I clicked new meta field, filled out the name field, which will also be used at the fields ID, chose the number field type, since this will be a field for displaying items price, and hit update post type, to ensure that the data for the new meta field is saved. In the admin filter section, we can now see the previously created filter. Let's click add new filter and pick a name for a new filter. Choose the filter by metadata type. In the following field, you'll find a drop-down list of meta fields created with Jet Engine, so you can select the necessary option. Alternatively, you can type the field's name in the custom meta field bar if that's easier for you. In the next field, you'll choose where the options for the field values are sourced from. For this particular meta field, I'll manually input the values for each post, so we'll pick Select from Database here. Finally, you can choose between ascending or descending order for the drop-down filter options. Let's click Update Post Type and navigate to the CPT list. There's no price filter here yet, because none of the posts have a price field completed. Once we update our post with the price information, the price filter will start working. Finally, let me show you how to make a filter with options stored in a glossary. A glossary is a pre-made list of items that can be used for adding options to many fields and filters. First, create a new meta field and configure it to pull values from a previously created glossary. It's important to choose a field type that is compatible with glossaries, such as a checkbox, radio or select field. Once the appropriate field type is selected, enable the Get Options from Glossary toggle and choose the glossary from the drop-down list. That's all that's required to create a custom field based on the glossary data. Now scroll down to the Admin Filters section and create a new filter which is similar to creating the previous type except for the last step. Type a filter name, select the filter by metadata type, choose the glossary field and at the bottom, select the required glossary, instead of using the Select from Database option like we did before. Before checking how this filter works, let's complete the glossary field for each custom post type. Now we can sort posts with this filter as well. You can observe that this last filter displays all the options that the glossary contains, even if some of the options are not assigned to any post in the list. This wouldn't be possible if we had used the manual inserted field values as source for the filter options. Let's take a look at how multiple admin filters work together on the custom post list for products. I've set up several filters based on different tags assigned to custom post types and metadata. These filters allow me to easily navigate through the posts, identifying product categories and subcategories. For instance, I can sort products by style, type or other variables simultaneously. This way I can quickly search through all content without having to open each post individually to view its details. Plus, all posts are displayed on a single page enhanced with the Ajax technology for efficient filtering. You can also add admin columns for more immediate data visibility, such as viewing product prices or availability. Adding columns can be easily done in the Edit Post Type window, which is right after Metadata settings. Here you can link the column from the CPT's taxonomy or meta fields. As you can see with Jet Engine, you can significantly customize the backend admin dashboard. But its capabilities extend beyond just content browsing and supervision. By utilizing filters, you can sort posts by specific attributes and apply actions to them. Specifically, you can categorize posts using predefined terms creating new groupings. Why is this important? It enables the creation of new post listings for display on the front end. 
Essentially, you can select specific posts from your entire collection of CPTs using filters, assign them with new tags and showcase them in various places on your website, each with a unique design. For example, in your online store, you can present all products in one section while highlighting featured or best-selling items in separate listings or pages. This approach helps draw customer attention to the products you want to sell the most. Let's not forget that the category tags you assign to the CPTs can also be used as data source for the filters created with the JetSmart Filters plugin on the front end. I hope this explanation has clarified how admin filters created with Jet Engine can significantly enhance the management of custom post types on the back end. This in turn facilitates the creation of custom listings and filters for more efficient and straightforward display of posts on the front end. If you found this information helpful or if it inspired you to explore new ways of using Crocoblock tools, I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't already. Stay tuned for more insightful video content from our team. See you in the next one.